Hi, this is Angela Toma with Dogwood Paper Arts. Welcome back. Today we are going to work on part three of favorite our favorite recipes journal. Um, I'm going to be folding paper today and chatting away and then trying to make a decision about how fat our signature should be and how many sheets of paper maybe we should be using. Now I love that for a front cover on my journal and yes I will need to cut these pages down but I think I'll be able to cut them down okay um, after they're folded. I better check huh? be terrible to get them all folded and then find out I can't cut straight at all. So we're just going to be cutting off a little bit and making sure it comes off of both sides. And then we need to check the inside and make sure it came off of both sides. So um, when you buy papers, just so you know, from another that are made in another country, our paper sizes vary from one another. Ours are eight and a half by eleven. There's our 8.3 or anyway by 11 point uh, something I don't know I don't know what those are I'd have to look it up anyway because they vary um, that means that they will vary in a digital uh, sometimes you can stretch them out to fit your printer and sometimes you can't I could not stretch these out to fit my printer this time so um, so I am having to cut them down as I go. Now another decision I really need to make about this journal is is, is this going to be the one that I sew on? You know I don't sew on many journals you know around the pages and stuff but this one almost lends itself to being sewn around. So I don't know yet. I just haven't decided that. I'm going to go ahead and put this chicken on the outside too. It might be another signature cover. Now the other thing that I needed to think about with this journal was um, hmm, maybe I don't. I just forgot. I get so many things in my brain at one time that I forget what I'm what I want to say. Um, don't know. It'll come back to me eventually and I'll say it. I don't know if I'll remember that that's what I wanted to tell you, but I will eventually. Oh, yes, I remember. The one thing I said about this journal was is we don't want it to be a um, a gator mouth journal. We want our recipes to be held in it nice and neatly and safely because they're our favorite recipes. This is not going to be a junk recipe journal. It's going to be favorite recipes journal. So um, it could be that we may need five signatures but smaller signatures or six signatures but smaller signatures and um, it could be that we'll need a three inch spine instead of a fold over or you know it's that the spine is really going to depend on how we decide to make these signatures look and once we put recipes in them, how stuffed are they going to be? Now one way we can find that out is to make our signatures and then take some 3 by 5 cards or 5 by 6 or 4 by 5 and just go ahead and stick them in in, the, in between the pages and we'll see how fat it gets before it over gators. Now we're not going to care if it gators a little bit in each signature because when we put our spine in say 
Let's see. Okay, say this is our spine. If this was our spine and we were only doing two signatures, those two signatures would be separated on this spine. They wouldn't be squished together. So that is that little bit of space on each side of the signature is going to allow just a little bit of gatoring on the the mouth of the journal up here. But this is what makes the whole book gator. So and then the ephemera inside is the cause of that because if you look at say this pile of um, ephemera that we made yesterday with the screech owl. I mean, look at this. Let's, you know, this is the ephemera I cut out and plan to use most of this in the journal. So although this won't be all in one place, let's take a look at how fat it, how fat it became. And, you know, a lot of it will be glued down and flatter. But if we just take a look, let's put this in between. Okay. So, if we go from there to there, I mean, we have one and a fourth inches already of space in our journal. So that just this tells us that we can't overstuff because it'll just it will be a gator mouth journal instead of a favorite recipes journal. Now, if you want to make yours an overstuffed uh, gator mouth style recipe journal, that's fine too. It, it's up to you how you want to do it. Um, my my book is going to be specifically for my favorite recipes from my mom, my sisters, my niece, my cousin. Um, hi, Kathy. Hi, Josephine. Hi, Martha. Hi, Jo Beth. Um, or um, just family members that are now deceased and, um, you know, like my aunt and my mom and my dad. And they all had recipes that were favorites of ours, like I was telling you. And I will share some on my um, on my Dogwood Art Dogwood Paper Arts group page. So, uh, just so you're aware of that. Okay, you go back to Screech Owl folder. I keep all my papers in these folders with the names of the where I, who I bought them from. That way, I know um, what I need to write down in my journal, in my um. So I do want to interdisperse these um, with some of the other um, digitals. I am probably not going to use a lot of coffee dyed full size papers in this because I think we're going to have enough with just the fancy pages to create our journal. I don't think we'll need a bunch of um, uh, coffee dyed papers. So. Anyway, um, what else can I tell you? I'm going to tell you the size of this journal in just a minute. Oh, we have to decide on a cover. I've been looking at um, some different papers that I have that could be used. I wish I had this check pattern that I could use on uh, you know, a check like this, a full size sheet of this. I may have to see if I can create one on a digital. I don't know if I can or not. I don't know. I know how to do it. I know how to make stripes and ziggity zaggities. 
but I haven't tried making a check design. For some reason that's in my way this time. I think I'll go ahead and fold these first. Now, I don't know if we'll use all these. There's, there's a lot of them. Oh, I love this one. Am I off camera? No, I'm still there. I'm still with you. Oh, I love this. Look at this. Isn't that adorable? Now, I think I've seen this one in a postcard. But, uh, oh, she does a lovely job with her papers, doesn't she? Oh, and once again, this is from Nostalgie Graphic Land. There we go. Rose a motorcycle. Oh, here's a sheep. Let's put a sheep on. You bet. There's a rooster. And pretty little hen. We haven't, I don't think we've put a rooster up yet. Let's put a rooster on the, on the facing page. Oh, now I love this. I do. Hang on, I'm getting it. My fingers won't let me. This has this little milking time story on it. I love that. Look at this cow with the kitten. How cute. And then here's a milk cow. A rooster. Rooster, rooster. We're going to go with the cow this time. Now her papers don't come front and back like that. I printed on the back of mine. This paper that I'm using is eight and a half by 11 Epson presentation paper. And it's a double-sided presentation paper. If you're going to buy the Ep for your Epson, Epson presentation paper, buy the double-sided. The reason I say that is because it is extremely hard to tell on the uh, single-sided presentation paper which side is which side and they say that you should not print on the wrong side of it because it can ruin your printer so just be aware of that so buy double-sided presentation paper farmhouse that's a nice nice one to have on a facing uh, upward facing page Farm Journal. That's a good one. So what else can I tell you about this journal? Um, Biloxi City Dairy. Oh, how nice. Farm Journal. Cow on the Farm. Calendar. Farm Days. Farmer's Market. March 1890, 1877. Oh, I love that. That would be a really neat cover, you know, but it'll be really nice on the inside, too. I kind of like that this folds off center on our paper, on our size paper here in the United States, because it leaves a really nice grungy look right there. And I love that. So, you know, although we want this to be our favorite recipes, we also kind of want it to be a little, maybe, I want mine to be vintage and grungy. Here's a pig. Let's put the pig on. Uh, an upward facing page. Here we have this chicken or this one. I think we've used that one, so let's go with this one. Probably have used this one too. Okay, so, oh, 
this also has her chocolates in chocolate one in it look at this so we need to enter to disperse those i'm going to put these in a separate pile if if we're using this on the facing page the face up page so that we can disperse them equally throughout the pages here's this one oh isn't that gorgeous oh my goodness oh and i love this with the little fairy and the eggs isn't that wonderful i think they'll be on the the face-up page okay and over here we have a cake oh and we have the little girl but we're going to go with the cake so this is like on the inside where it can be uh, a recipe can be written on it so this recipe journal for me won't be oh i'm putting her face up won't be um packed full of my old well <laughs> you know i say that but then i think about all of the um here's some more little fairies isn't that adorable um i say that and i realize that uh, my mom's recipes i have mom's recipes i'm I want to put them into a book and share it with my brothers and sisters. If I ever get that done, uh, you know, I'll certainly let them all know. <laughs> um, but there's a lot of them. So, but I just I want to try and stick with just the favorite. Now this is has a table of contents on it. I might print this one out um, front and back with table of contents, but I'm going to go ahead and fold it right now. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Sorry, my mic is close to me too, so I know that sounds bad, but we all get these frogs in our throats, so we know what they are. And this one, cupcakes. Mm. Now that <coughs> actually ends up putting those recipes on the same page. Perhaps it would be better to separate them so that the ephemera of them is not close together. And same way here. So we know those are going to be some inside pages. They're going to get the inside scoop. Okay. Now, we have these. <coughs> I will cut these down off camera. I want to see what the difference of size is. These are Screech Owl Studios papers. And they are um, apparently um, eight and a half by 11 size. Coffee, tea, and cocoa. And the links will be down below in the description box. Okay, find the ones that are already pre-cut. Okay, you can see they're not that much different. So it is possible that we could take these pages and make them just a little bit smaller. Let's see what that would look like here. Yeah, see, it's not too bad. It's just a little tiny bit. And the grunginess of the, 
the dark around the edges matches this up really well so it's kind of like an old cookbook I, I have some old ones that are you know the pages are kind of mishap with each other um, so I don't think we need to cut this one down I was worried that I might have to cut some something off of them but I think we will um, take our time putting this together when I sew in the signatures and we'll be careful to put those where they need to be in the pages. Does that make sense? Okay, so screech owl. So now let's decide. I forgot to set my timer. I am so sorry. Oh, helpful hints and household chores. There it is. That word. Well, I still don't have a new vacuum cleaner, so I'm not vacuuming today either. And we'll put that one to the inside. Jams and jellies. Oh boy, we used to make the jam and the jelly. Wowie. I'm going to um, put this on the inside and the gingham paper on the outside. And this one. Well, that could have ephemera. That could too. Hmm. Hmm. I could separate these by signature, you know, like these could be a couple of signatures and then the other ones could be a couple of signatures, but I think probably it would be better to um, interdisperse them with one another. So, so the pages, our journal pages, will be, um, what is it, four and a half, five, no, oh, five and a half, 5.5 .5 by, um, eight and a half. Yeah. It will be eight and a half. These are look like they're slightly larger than eight and a half. But I think my mat might be off a little bit. So 5.5 .5 by eight and a half. And uh, I don't think I'll sew around them because I've been noticing lots of um, prettiness along the edges. So I think that we'll just save our edging with the uh, um, ruffle stuff. Ruffle it. We'll ruffle it. This is going to be so cool, you guys. I've wanted to do this for a long time. I love the idea of this weekly calendar in the book. You could keep track of your, you know, and if you have a, like, say you have a copy of an old recipe book by a family member that has a weekly calendar in it and they've written in it, that would be so interesting to put that here and show how, how they did it. You know, I know that I used to make a weekly calendar and uh, keep my notes on it and stuff and whether or not the kids like the recipe and you know different things I kept on it uh, that was when we had five kids and we still have five kids but um, we were you know raising a young family and I'm going to put those back in the screech owl until I get done here now I think my porch prints was 
just ephemera. And I think this one was just ephemera. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. No, we won't use it all, but we'll use some of it. Okay, so this one. There's those. And there's those. Now this is um, line dot arrow. And you'll see once again, she's across the ocean, across the pond from us. Um, so the paper didn't quite stretch. I think she is from the Netherlands. On this one, I printed my papers on the back, my coffee dyed. So this is the coffee dyed we will show in the book. Oh, this is going to be so wonderful. Now, one thing about this I do have to say is all of these folded papers may make more than one journal. And if they do, those will end up on my Etsy site and I will include recipes with them. Um, that way it's... Um, I don't know. That way we'll have some nice little journals happening and uh, and I won't have lots of stores of paper here at home because I store a lot of paper here. Well, I do have to thank these uh, digital artists for bringing such beautiful papers to my table into my studio. They didn't bring them here. I bought them and they sent them to me from all over the world. The world is at our fingertips, isn't it? Oh, this is a favorite. I just love the jar on things. And you know, I love to take and cut out the jars and make little pockets out of them. You know, kind of the cool thing to do on this one would be to put a back in here and then cut this right along here so that a recipe could slip in underneath there. And then on the back here would be a paper and then you could have another pocket there. Wouldn't that be cool? And I love this one too. So don't be afraid to cut your papers, you know. You can, you can do all kinds of things. Flips and folds and cuts and um, just all kinds of interesting things. So there we go. That would make a really nice um, journal for uh, for up for sale that size. Just a little favorite recipes journal. So let me put these back in her file. And um, okay. Well, I think that about does it for today. I will let you go, and when I bring you back, I will have these figured out into piles. Or do you want to watch that? Do you want to watch me pile these into piles? Don't. I have to cut these first, though. So, um, I know that I want this guy on a cover. Well, it doesn't really matter who's the cover and who's not. So, how many do we have? One, two, 
3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So, if we go 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, we go with a cow. Can't get a hold of it. And we have a cow, so we'll go back this way. Oh, there's a sheep. Let's put the sheep on this one because I have all different animals on that one. And we have two left over, so let's hang on to those guys. So right now that is um, four pages in the signature. So let's go here to these. One, two, three. One, two, three. Grab one of these, four. And let's see what we have here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Okay, so let's bring back over these from um, line dot arrow. One, two, oh gosh, I lost count, guys. I know you saw it, but I can't remember. One, two, four, five, six, seven. And this should be seven. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four. Oh, they're all seven? One, two, six. Okay. Seven. And then we have one, two, three, four. Oh, and then we have exactly four more. One, two, three, four. And then we have, let's go ahead and get out the Screech Owl Studios. And see, I think maybe that is going to be too thick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes, I think that'll be too thick. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I think that's four signatures. Um, what if we made a fifth and took one of those, took the cow. And put one of these here, no. And took that one and that one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What do we have here now? One, two, three, four, five. And these should all have eight. This is the hard part is figuring out how you want this to be. So, uh, one, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five. 
One, two, three, four, five. So if we made this six, and we made that six, One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Three, six, seven. So take that one out. Three, six. Okay, so they all have six now. One, two, Maybe I will pull that one and put in this one. And that's good. I think they all look pretty good. And what do we have left? One, two, three, four, five, six, six, plus two. Okay. Okay, at six signatures each, plus ephemera, we can't forget it's going to have ephemera in it. Um, this is how fat it's going to look. And then, so there's a signature. We might go seven. Seven might be okay. But if we were to, say, put a recipe card in there, let me grab my index cards if I can find them. These are large ones, so let's just use that between each signature and see what happens. So there's two recipes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Up. So yeah, it already fattens it up quite a bit. You know. Um, and these are, are flat. So if they were like folded like they were pieces of ephemera in there. A pocket. Because it's going to need a pocket. You're going to have to have pockets in order to install your ephemera. That will start fattening it up even more. I mean, already you can see that that starts pushing the pages out because, you know, they're already fat. So, um, Yeah. Anyway, that gives us an idea of what we want to do is and how many signatures we're going to need to keep this uh, within reason. So, um, 
this one. I might have to turn some of those pages out. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, well, I am going to let you go. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, oh, seven signatures. Did I say seven or six? Oh. That's going to be too many. Looks like we're going to make a couple of recipe books. If we just stayed with three signatures in each one, then we would have enough to make uh, two or three, three books if we only did two signatures in the other ones. Or maybe a single signature in one. Hmm. I might do that. I might just put all of this one in one. This is a screech owl. And then I might put all line dot arrow in one. I don't know. I need to think about it off camera. So I've bothered you enough for today. So um, if you ever have questions or anything, please let me know and I will give them to you um, over the video if you like. Uh, Janice was asking me about uh, if I could not um, send down the glossiness of my pages on that mini journal I made. And yes, you definitely can sand that down a little bit. Um, now, I don't know if you could gesso, you could regular gesso over it. I have used um, the clear gesso on the plasticky stickers before, and it just peeled off of them. So um, I think that on the stickers and stuff, they would have to be sanded down and then that may leave scratches in them. In the paper that I was using, um, it might just scratch away some of the images and stuff, but that would just leave it grungy looking. So I chose in my little mini book just to leave the glossiness because it kind of looked like glossy accents in the end there. And I, I really like that. So it worked out good to keep it in the mini journal. That was the one with kind of the one I said looked like a Pioneer uh, album or journal. Um, the Claritin box one is what I'm talking about. Okay. So yes, you can um, always, uh, especially I thought she was originally talking to me about packaging and definitely on packaging. Um, you can sand that down um, and just sew it and then paint on it or stick things to it if it, um, if you can't stick things to it otherwise. And that will help to uh, knock that gloss back down and then you can paint over it or um, you can put, you know, washi tape on it or um, one of my favorite things to do is to put the paper on it and then before it's dry start peeling it back off and it comes off in strips it leaves a super beautiful grungy grungy look and I absolutely love it we'll have to do that someday um, anyway that's all I have for today. Thanks for joining me. I will see you tomorrow on part four of putting this together. Or perhaps this part will be put together and I'll have an idea for you what we're going to do. Uh, we'll need to make a, a journal cover. And then it's ephemera all out from there. Um, getting the books together and putting the recipes in it. 
So it's, you know, my full tutorial videos last normally about eight videos. So I think you can plan on eight. I'd like to say, man, tomorrow we're going to throw this in a signature. But, you know, you go to sew in a signature and everything goes wrong. And it takes you hours. And then you're exhausted by the end of the day. You can't do any more because you're all frustrated with your signatures. And um, nothing ever goes as planned. So I like to just kind of am, am trying to do step by step so that um, you can follow along. You can learn about journaling. And you can um, teach me what tips and tricks that you have too. Uh, believe me. I'm not super great at all this and but I love to do it and that's where I I love to play in all this paper so anyway don't forget give this video a thumbs up or a like uh, don't forget you can share the videos and subscribe and if you want to be notified by email you can highlight that bell um, that's all I have for today. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.